a large house lovers. I have a very interesting game for you played by Maurice Ashley and Hikaru Nakamura. The game was played at 2003 US Chess Championship. Maurice Ashley started with e4 and c5 by Nakamura, Sicilian defense, knight f3, d6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3 and a6, Nakamura goes for knight or variation and here comes bishop c4. Maurice Ashley is choosing the Fisher Souls in attack, a very sharp line, e6, bishop b3, b5, bishop g5, bishop e7, queen f3, queen b6, white castles queen side at the same time protecting the knight on d4, knight d7, rook e1, this rook later can play an important role on this e file. And instead of castling kingside and moving away the king from the dangerous center, Nakamura played h6. But here comes a strong response by Maurice Ashley. e5, counterattacking the knight on f6, also the rook on a8 is hanging, opening up the queen's diagonal. Now if you capture on e5 then simply queen takes a8. Or after e5, if d takes e5, then it Instead of capturing on a8, white can first capture on e6. If bishop b7, then knight takes g7 check. If king f8, then queen f5. And whatever you play, for example, capture on g5 or on g7. For example, if king takes g7, then simply rook takes d7. You can't recapture because you can get checkmated. And this is going to be terrible for black. Let's go back, after e5 we see bishop b7 attacking the queen and also covering the rook on a8. Queen h3, moving away the queen from this dangerous f3 square and also pinning the pawn on h6. And at some point this queen is going to put pressure on e6 and can exploit the weaknesses of light squares. D takes e5 and there it goes, we see the first firework in this game. Knight takes e6, f takes e6, bishop takes e6. Now this queen is not only pinning the pawn but is also supporting the bishop on e6. Black has to be very careful, rook d8 and now comes another beautiful move, rook takes d7. Maurice Ashley, what are you doing? Actually Nakamura played the best move, rook takes d7, of course if you capture on d7 with a knight, then the knight is no longer covering the h5 square and you can get checkmated. Or after rook takes d7, if queen takes f2, attacking the rook on e1, then white has a fantastic move, bishop takes f6, sacrificing the rook and allowing black to capture it with a check, but white can play knight d1 and it turns out that black is in trouble. For example, if bishop takes f6 then queen h5 check, you can get checkmated, or after knight d1 if rook takes d7 then bishop takes d7 check, followed by bishop takes e7 check and then the queen can jump to e6 square and then queen d6 threatening some discovered checks and this is going to be winning for white. Looks like black is getting checkmated. Let's go back but after rook takes d7 we see rook takes d7 by Nakamura. And finally Maurice Ashley is capturing on f6, removing this important defender which was covering both the h5 square and was also protecting the rook on d7. And a bad move by Nakamura, rook d6. Actually this gives white a huge advantage. A better move was capturing on f6, if bishop takes d7 check then king is 7 Engines are evaluating this position as equal, in some cases giving only a slight advantage to white. But instead after bishop takes f6 we see rook d6. Here comes queen h5 check, king d8. Bishop takes e7 check, king takes e7. Queen takes e5, king d8, moving away the king from this dangerous e5. So far so good, but in this position Maurice Ashley made the first inaccuracy. He played knight d5. It was important to place the bishop on d5. If bishop takes d5, then knight takes d5. If queen c5, then queen takes g7. If rook takes d5, then queen takes h8 check, king c7, rook e8. And then white can force an exchange of queens and 
the endgame is going to be winning for white. This rook endgame is winning. White has three extra pawns. Let's go back. After king d8, we see knight d5. Bishop takes d5. Bishop takes d5. Queen c7. And a bad move f4. I'm not sure, but maybe Morris Ashley was under time pressure because the first half of the game he was just playing a perfect chess. Instead of playing f4, a better move was bishop f3. If rook d7, then queen e4. The queen can penetrate black's camp. Also, this bishop can be useful on this diagonal. But instead, after queen c7, we see f4, rook d7, queen f5, queen c5. And a blunder bishop e6. Well, a better move was rook e5, but this bishop e6 is just losing on the spot. Here comes queen f2, and Maurice actually resigned. The rook is hanging, also, there are some mating threats. If you, for example, move away your rook, then you can get checkmated. Your comments and questions, please. What do you think about this game? Good luck.